thought I'd share another quote with you to hopefully hopefully get you thinking and uh, inspire you a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> so this quote comes from uh, Siddhartha by Herman Hess, uh, published in uh, 1922. Uh, again, this is about a, a young man who uh, underwent a quest for enlightenment uh, and traveled all over the countryside, all over the world, finding different ways uh, and different philosophies about becoming enlightened. So in this part of the book, he uh, quotes, he's, he's saying, uh, when someone reads a text, wants to discover its meaning, he will not scorn the symbols and letters and call them deceptions, coincidence and worthless hull, but he will read them. He will study and love them letter by letter. But I, who wanted to read the book of the world and the book of my own being, I have, for the sake of a meaning I had anticipated in advance, before I read, I scorned the symbols and letters, called the visible world a deception. I called my eyes and my tongue coincidental and worthless forms without substance. So this quote talks about, speaks of, uh, about how we learn about the world and how we go about um, discovering what the world has for us, offers to us, and what our place in the world is. So here he's saying that uh, an individual that uh, wants to study the world can come at that study of the world in two different ways. Uh, they can approach the world with a meaning in mind and try to fit what they see to that meaning. Or they can approach the world uh, in a way that's open and without preconceptions. The person that uh, is open to new meaning is going to find that new meaning uh, in, in different aspects of the world that they discover. I think this quote's important to you uh, because you all are studying to take charge of the health of patients and individuals. And in that way, uh, you are committing yourself to provide the best care possible for these individuals that you're going to encounter. You can't provide the best care through assertion and belief. Uh, just because something has been done a certain way in the past doesn't mean it's the best way for your patients. Just because uh, you have a certain uh, rehabilitation regimen in mind for your patients doesn't mean that it's going to be the best one uh, for your patients. So you need to approach the world with a scientific mind, uh, read the scientific literature, understand clinical trials, figure out what is actually going to result in the best outcomes for your patients. And the best outcomes might be achieved through different means for each patient. Not every patient is going to uh, benefit from the same uh, regimen or the same therapy or the same treatment. So it's important that uh, we uh, view the world with this open mind, but it's also important that we approach each and every person we encounter as individuals. Uh, that individualized process without preconceptions is key to producing a world where, um, you know, where we can have fewer diseases and uh, people can be healthier.